Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to go over one of the more fundamental concepts when it comes to the component architecture in Vue. And that is global versus scoped styling. There are three points to understand and we will go over each of them with an example. But first, let's set up our components. I'm going to begin by creating a new file in the components folder. Let's call it childstyles.view. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet vbase-css to create a component. Let's name the component as childstyles. Now on the style block, the code generates a scoped attribute. We will get to this very shortly, but for now, let's remove it. In the component template, I'm going to add an h4 tag with the text child styles component text. Next, I'm going to include this component in app component. Import child styles from components slash child styles dot view. Add it to the list of components. Finally, include it in the template. Above this component, I'm going to add an h4 tag. The text is app component text. So we have an h4 tag in the app component and the child styles component. Our setup is done. Now let's begin with our first point, which is about global styles. In the app component styles, let's add the color orange to the h4 tag. So h4 color orange. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that not only the app component text, but the child styles text is also in orange, even though the style was specified only in the app component. Now you might guess the parent component styles are being applied to the child component. Well, you are right, but it is not just that. If we go back to VS Code, fix the typo, and then take this styling out of app component and put it inside the child component style tag, change the color to olive for better clarity, you can see that not only the child styles component text is olive, but also the app component text. So this is the first point to keep in mind about components and styles. By default, a component styles are applied globally in the component tree. And with the global styles, the regular CSS rules are maintained as well. So back in VS Code, if we were to have an H4 styling in both the components with child styles being olive and the app component being orange in the browser, the child would still have an orange color. Since both the styles are applied globally and the parent styles are evaluated after the child styles, the parent style of orange color is the last value read by the parser, which is why even the child component text is in orange. Now, if this is the case, how do we style the h4 tag in the child component? Well, that brings us to the second point. In order to ensure a component's styles apply only to its own template, we need to add a scoped attribute on the style tag. So in the app component, on the style tag, specify the scoped attribute. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that the orange color is restricted to the app component and the child styles component can apply its own olive color. However, this will again cause a problem with other components using the h4 tag. So let's add a scoped attribute to the child component as well. 
Now, the olive colored H4 tag is only restricted to the child styles component. So the second point to keep in mind is about the scoped attribute, which ensures a component's CSS will apply only to its own HTML elements. Now I put an asterisk at the end because there is one detail in which case the statement is not always true. And that is when the element is the root node in the child component. If we go back to child styles component and remove this wrapping div tag and the scoped attribute in the browser, you can see that both the components text is again in orange. Even though the app component has the scoped attribute on its style block, its orange styling has leaked into the child component as well. So this is a detail worth making note of and I want to quote the documentation. With scoped attribute, the parent component's styles will not leak into child components. However, a child component's root node will be affected by both the parent's scoped CSS and the child's scoped CSS. This is by design so that the parent can style the child root element for layout purposes. Now, if you want to avoid this minor detail, the solution is to use CSS modules, which I recommend you read about in your spare time. So that is the second point, which is about the scoped attribute. The third and final point is about scoped styling with slots. In child styles component, let's add back the wrapping div tag and the scoped attribute to ensure we have orange and olive text in the browser. So we have orange and olive. Now, instead of adding the h4 tag in the child component, I'll replace it with a slot. In the app component, convert child styles into opening and closing tags and in between the tags add the same h4 element child styles component text this h4 tag gets replaced in the child component slot if we save the file and take a look at the browser you can see that both the elements are now orange colored so this is the third point to keep in mind. When using slots, the parent component's styles are applied and not the child component styles, even though the content is embedded inside the child component. In our example, even though this H4 tag will eventually be placed in the child component, it still takes the orange color styling from the app component. I hope you now have a clear understanding of the minute details around component styling in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.